Welcome back to our show, Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an actress you'll want to know. She's shown her talent in projects like The Hate You Give and The Bobby Brown Story on television. Now she's starring in the new Robin Roberts film, Stolen by My Mother, mm. the Kamaya mm. Mobley story on Lifetime. Take a look. Yeah. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? I am fine, okay? I was just worried that I wasn't gonna get to see you. <laughs> Don't cry, babe. <laughs> Oh, what are we gonna do? You, you are gonna live your life. No. And I am gonna put my faith in the Lord, and I'm gonna trust that my attorney can figure out what's best. Tell them that you gave me the best life possible. Everything, everything I ever needed, everything I ever wanted, everything I ever loved. Baby. Wow, please Ooh. welcome Raven Pharrell to the oh. circle. Oh. Wow. That is so deep. That's yes. what I'm saying. I, I could not imagine my kidnapper being my mother. Yeah. And then she crying and crying on top of in the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I, I stole you but in the name of the Lord. But it's such a complicated story, it though. Is. It is. I'm saying it's like, it's so much. And then, but that's the person that you knew as your mom in right. the story. You know, I get yeah. all, in, I get, you know, mm -hmm. all enveloped in stories. But how can you prepare for a role like that? I mean, that's some real, just crying real tears and stuff. Oh, you know, with that scene in particular, it was so crazy. That is the day my mom came and visited me in Canada. <gasps> oh, wow. So my mom was actually there. And um, I can only imagine, like, putting myself in that predicament. But it wasn't, like, really resonating. What I did was, um, God forbid, uh, my mom is, like, my number one supporter. So uh, I was, I thought of it as my mom not being in my life in a sense of like her getting mm -hmm. sick mm -hmm. and her giving me her last words. Yeah. Like, Cause she would tell me something like that. Right. Like, Carry right. on, keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I can't live without you. Right, you know? right, so right. It was, one of those, it was one of those situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get back into the, the flow of things, how did you even get your start? Um, I actually, I'm, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I went to a performing arts school. It's called okay. School for Creative and Performing Arts. My entire life. Like that is the only school I ever went to. Um, so. I actually got into ballet, violin, and acting. I played awesome. the violin? What? Oh my really? God. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so dope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there, that's when I did theater and then moving to Atlanta for college, I um, started, I began in television and film. That's awesome, Raven. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> now, you worked with Niecy Nash. Mm -hmm. um, how was it working with her? I mean, Niecy is an amazing actress. She just came out for When They See Us. How was it being in, a, um, being in scenes with Niecy? It was an experience. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think when working with people who are so advanced in their career, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is just sit back and observe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And take yeah. it all in and, yeah. you know, to learn what to do, learn what not to do. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm just, I was blessed because even with Tyronda, uh, she portrays mm -hmm. Shannar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like my sister now. Yeah. She's literally, I get on her nerves awesome. every day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, being able to establish the, those relationships in the sense of, like, they're, I don't want to say mentors because it's not that like in depth, but it's like I can call, you know, uh, even with producers, directors, mm -hmm. everybody who worked on this project. Yeah. I learned a lot from all of them. Did you guys get to interact with the people that you were portraying? Yes. Oh, what was, How that, was that like? Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> we all lean <laughs> back. Like, <laughs> so um, with Alexis, uh, uh, Alexis. Kamaya. Yeah, yeah, Kamaya. Yeah. Just to let y'all know. Um, I actually FaceTimed, we were FaceTiming a few times before we actually met in person. Oh, wow. Mm. So before, um, the first time she ever called me, I missed the call because I was filming. And um, I was like, who's calling me from South? I was like, oh my gosh, I think this is Alexis. Mm -hmm. So I'm nervous as heck. I was oh, super, super yeah. nervous. Um, but once we got on FaceTime, I'm like, oh girl, like, you know, we became, <laughs> we became super comfortable. And then once we met in person, like, it was more natural. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah that had to be a lot of pressure it on did. you because you want to, yeah. you're, you're acting as someone and you exactly. want to get it right. Exactly. You want to get the story right. Exactly. So working with Robin Roberts, this is her first film. How much yes. pressure was that for you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, Robin is so, uh, she's so positive and she makes you feel good. Yeah. So going to like, when I first met Robin, it wasn't a thing to where I was like, Oh my God, I'm so uncomfortable, I'm so nervous. Like, she made me super comfortable. Like, yeah. we talked and 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm just super grateful. Good. She's and for those who don't know, this story about uh, Kamaya was uh, 1998. Her mother, mm -hmm. who was 16 years old, just had a baby. And the woman who plays Niecy Nash in real life went into this hospital and actually stole her from her arms, pretending to be a nurse. Raised Alexis Kamaya, yes. like just raised her very well. Very with well. Lots of love. With, with lots, lots of love. Of love. Yes. Of course. But she very found much. out later on yeah. that this was not her mother. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so. I know you probably have talked to Alexis. How's she doing? What does that do to like to a person's psyche? Like, yeah. Um, I think uh, we all have to realize that this is her real life. Yeah. You know, although this happened a long time ago, well, she found out um, a few years ago. Um, to us, it's a thing, but it's also a film. To her, she lives this every day. She's right, still processing right. it. She's still processing her relationships with both families. Yes. So, um... With it being a sensitive topic, I don't want to speak on her behalf. Yeah. Right, right. absolutely, true. absolutely, good. Good. So, yeah. good. Well, speak on your behalf. What's next for you? <laughs> <laughs> so I called Jesus the other day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. Right. No, um, <laughs> um, I'm currently working on trying to get on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I also did a, a short film based off of Tasha Harlan. So I don't know if you all mm -hmm. are familiar with her story, but mm -hmm. we're working on turning that into a feature right now. Okay, okay. Oh, that's good. 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 So good. Yeah. Keep doing your thing with yeah. you, man. Yeah. We see you. Thank we you. appreciate you stopping by Thank today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yes. I love this. Oh, good. <laughs> Make sure you tune in to Stolen by My Mother, the Kamaya Mobley story, this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Lifetime.